Hello, and welcome to the Tenable Product Education Channel. In this video, we're going to learn all about the various authentication types supported within the Tenable Web Application Scanning. This is for both Security Center as well as Tenable and Nessus Expert. First up, let's talk about the HTTP methods of authentication. The supported methods are BASIC, NTLM, Digest, and Kerberos. Indicators that you may need to utilize this type of authentication are if there is a pop-up box when you go to reach the application, or if you're on an internal network or using an environment such as a dev environment or a QA environment. These environments typically require you to log on to the domain before being able to access the applications. As well, you could also utilize the Tenable Web Application Scanner to scan first after the scan is complete in the post scan, you could find the following plugin in the results HTTP server authentication detected or 98024. Once you have found out that it is the HTTP method supported by the web application, then you need to add these into the HTTP authentication section of the credentials within the web app scan policy. Next, let's discuss application authentication. This is used in the vast majority of cases across all the internet-facing web applications. You can think about this type of authentication as when you enter a username and a password and the application returns with a session ID. Tenable supported methods for this type of authentication is recording via Selenium, a third-party application, which supports multi-step authentication as well as application authentication for single sign-on servers and single page applications. Tenable's Web Application Scanner also supports the login form, cookie-based authentication, bearer tokens, and API keys. Lastly, let's go over some helpful tips and tricks. First, let's talk about identification of what type of authentication is used by the particular web application. If there's a pop-up box, there is a good chance that you are utilizing HTTP authentication. Let's take a look at an example. In this example, we see a pop-up box that is very traditional of the basic and NTLM Digest and Kerberos style of authentication. Next up, try to scan the application. Once you've scanned the application, check for the results. There are a bunch of other helpful plugins beyond the one listed earlier. Let's take a look at those. As you can see, I'm now on the plugins portal. This plugins portal is completely accessible to anyone. There's no login required. You can see I filtered down on the web application scanner and I filtered down on a family of plugins, authentication and session, as well as informational level plugins. As you can see, there are a whole host of plugins, which after the scan is completed, would be very helpful in identifying the potential applications authentication mechanism. Another trick could be to ask the application owner themselves. The application owner should be able to tell you the method of authentication utilized for the various web applications under their purview. As well, if the authentication mechanism being utilized is application-centric, then we highly recommend using the Selenium recording most of the time. When dealing with two-factor authentication, try to work with the app owner for a bypass account. This is the only scenario where Selenium recording will likely not work. In this case, you may need to utilize cookie authentication when unable to bypass two-factor authentication. While login form is also available, it is rarely utilized as an authentication method. Lastly, we highly recommend enabling plugin debugging. This will give additional screenshots at the end of the scan to help troubleshoot potential issues. Thank you for watching this video.